So this is what's left of the hollow. And it was getting a little stale. So I took it and cut it into slices and let it sit out overnight. And now it's going to become French toast. So I'm gonna take, put four eggs in a bowl. Maybe I'll get a different bowl. That's interesting. So four eggs in a, in a uh, bowl. A hard eggshell to break the bowl. Apply a little bit of broken shell. And with that, I'm going to put. About a quarter cup milk. This is soy milk. Pinch of salt. Uh, two twists of pepper. About uh, one and a half tablespoons of sugar. about half a teaspoon of vanilla, bit of nutmeg. Cinnamon. I whisk this until it is uh, smooth and I've broken up the egg proteins. This is why I had a bigger bowl. <laughs> egg beaten. Now I'm going to soak the bread and we're going to do that. In a gallon size Ziploc bag. I would just dip it, but I think that might not work so well for this I'll 
these sit now for uh, about three minutes. So it's been about four minutes. Uh, the bread's you know, a little softer, still firm. Uh, so let's see what we can do with these in the frying pan. We're gonna cook these on medium high. I misspoke there. I'm not cooking on medium high. I'm cooking on medium heat. Uh, and I think they're starting to smell correct. Getting a little brown on the, on the back side. So let's try these out. That was about uh, three, four minutes of cooking. Interior soft. Hmm. Remember that well. This is a thicker slice. That slice. Again, the interior is soft. Uh, it was very dry before. The thicker slice is not quite as uh, flavorful. I don't think the uh, the batter got to the interior, but it did. It did uh, revive the bread, and uh, mm. it's all very good. So, I think this worked out pretty well. Certainly uh, better than the uh, stale bread that was on my counter last night. <laughs>